friend of mine from high school's dad had 11 Volkswagen Rabbit pickup trucks. He uh, thought that in the year 2000, the world was going to end and that we wouldn't be able to buy fuel anymore. And so he was converting them over to vegetable oil um, and had his own waste vegetable oil refinery in the backyard. Well, I hit him up to buy one of these trucks off of him. And he said I could buy one or I could buy all of them. And the price was the same. So I ended up buying all 11 trucks. And over the course of about three years, I uh, sold off the rest of the trucks and I kept the one that I liked the most. But it turned out it was not the cleanest, as you'll see here.
there I think we got it fixed so um, never seen that before if anybody knows how to fix that on a GoPro let me know but it was like split screen so we got the uh, zealous O2M motor mount to trans um, a lot of the stuff said it was for like stock mounts he doesn't didn't have anything available for the black forest mounts yet but you can get rid of these uh, nasty mix of bolts here because the truck is now running good and needs to start cleaning up everything but um tonight we'll start replacing all those i think i have everything he makes for a mark IV um that wasn't like they didn't have anything tdi specific so i bought like uh 1.8t stuff you know a couple other things and we'll just mix and match and make it work but um Let's have at it. So I want to give some clarification. Ian's been working with me, and he never puts any tools back. Um, I think he just figures that we're going to start working again the next day. But then Mikey asks him to go to the Bohemian and get drinks. and So we end up uh, not working when we're going to, and then tools end up sitting. And I can't find stuff. So that's why I couldn't find that eight there for a little bit. But, um, I really should be using another wrench for this right now, but I'm gonna torque it anyways. So I figure, here's a torque. Use my torque wrench, but. Crunch. It's already set. And I'll just no, you're not supposed to torque with extensions, but I'm in a little bit of pickle here. There we are. Just finished the O2M motor mount to transmission bolts. You can see the Zealous Fab beauty washers look pretty good. They just need to get them polished to match, but we'll do that down the road. Uh, I'm going to need to get these replaced, these replaced, and then the zinc, nasty zinc. Um, and we'll just do all polished stainless or polished aluminum on this and get it all finished up and looking good. The head, um, I had polished by Shore Polish Frank, and um, that has been getting ported and polished out and some other work done to it um oversized valves and other things but that's the guys had it now for like eight months and uh supposedly i'm supposed to get it back next week we do have a awesome polished pump fully polished pump that i sent out to shore polish as well and he did an awesome job on that that is all finished and ready to go in this car let's see right here Looking good, looking good, but I'm not going to put that on until I do the head and I've got a AC um, delete alternator bracket that we're going to put on as well that's painted ready to go. So um, 
yeah gonna keep going get the rest of those beauty washers on hey everybody welcome back to the vlog uh welcome back to the channel welcome back to the big screen whatever you want to call this um so tonight uh, i'm gonna be doing some welding on the cadzilla truck here you can see quattro um this is if you haven't watched the channel before, this is based off of a um, TT drivetrain. So we've got a Haldex rear end, uh, built a tube chassis for it here that ties into the, the front cab section. It's got a full cage and then a Mark IV Jetta floor pan, firewall, front um, frame rails, so front wheel tubs. That's all out of a Mark IV Jetta spliced into this. You can see it right here on the sides, the Mark IV floor pan there, but um, front bags are aired out right now. This back bag's got some air in it. This uh, back left deflated because I was doing some welding the other day, and while I was welding, I didn't put up the um, fiberglass blanket to block the air lines in. Got a little splatter hidden airline and the whole thing deflated on me so that's why it's sitting all funky but i'm gonna um weld in some plates right right here tonight to box in these sections and then um once we finish all that stuff up i'm thinking i want to take about two inches out of the rear bag perches be able to make the rear end sit quite a bit lower um the front end will sit pan on the ground i'm thinking that's what i want to do with the rear is to be able to get the rear to match the front a little bit better but um when you're aired up to about 40 psi in the front 40 in the rear it sits almost level so just need to do some adjusting there that's what we'll be working on tonight Okay, all set up, ready to go. Um, got the fiberglass blanket up so I don't get any splatter on the airbags, the airlines, um, anything in somewhat important. And got my sweet helicopter flight suit. My brother's a helicopter pilot for Life Flight and or Air Med, so he uh, gives me all his old suits and they come in handy. For welding, I use them all the time for welding, and then just uh, anytime I'm gonna get super dirty laying underneath cars or something. So let's set this down. We'll do time lapse and uh, get some video of us throwing down some beads. So, kind of held up on the uh, Air Quattro, this needle bearing issue, I just can't get past. Uh, ordered another needle bearing, uh, Ian's going to bring it by as soon as it shows up and we'll be able to start or try to finish up getting that transmission installed and um, get the whole drivetrain put into the car so we can get this car off to the body shop and get the golf rally over here. But been a couple things really bugging me um, on the caddy so I want to start working on those tonight while I have some time 
Uh, one of which is when I tighten up all the bolts here for the small bumpers, rear bumper brackets, it tweaks this end down. I just can't get it to go straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and ream out um, two of these holes and then I'll be able to tweak it so that it's actually level the way it needs to be uh, in line with the whole back end of the truck. And then the other thing that's really been bugging me is that ever since I put this this girdle on um, up front on the bottom end to hold the bottom end together it's always leaked oil on the oil pan bolts and the oil pan bolts they go through the girdle and then they tighten up to the actual block but um, don't thread into the girdle so I'm gonna go back and we're gonna reseal up that area and hopefully fix that problem so I'm not dripping oil everywhere I go. Um, I always have to have these dirt pans underneath the truck so not getting any oil on the ground or any oil on the Corrado. But those are two things we're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to address tonight, get done, and then I can actually take this thing out and drive it because I have a preliminary tune on it. And as you can see, we are a vintage vehicle and we are registered and legal in the state of Utah. So I want to get this thing out and cruise around a little bit. But that's that for tonight. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We are working on the truck, Cadzilla, over here today. Um, took it out the other day with Ian, my buddy, and um, noticed that it was grinding on the front right wheel. Um, there was a grinding noise coming from there, just backing out of the driveway. And so, pulled it back in, saw that uh, the bolts from the wheel are actually rubbing on the caliper and um, took in we cut the back side of the bolts off on both front wheels just make it so that they are not sticking out as far and that fixed the problem uh, we went out and did a four wheel burnout with the thing for the first time and uh, brought it back and everything was good put it on the lift start working on it a little bit and um, finished working on it. I wasn't doing anything with the suspension. It was other stuff. And uh, 
went to pull it back off the lift and it was grinding as I backed it out. So today uh, I'm gonna pull the wheel off, figure out what's going on, why it keeps moving. Um, we're getting to the point that it's, it's grinding at a certain point and see if we can fix it. Okay, so you can see where the uh, those bolts are grinding on that caliper. Um, most of this is from before we uh, cut those down, but so we're still getting a slight grind. And so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to measure the uh, spacer stack, the wheel, and then um, we will see if we can adjust um, the suspension at all. But uh, it looks like the so it looks like the ball joint is um, rubbing a little bit on the bottom on the back side and so what we're gonna do is we'll try to adjust that a little bit get that to stop and then um, we'll add the other five millimeters spacer on both sides see how the stance ends up sitting and figure out what we're gonna do to be able to fix all this so So we just pulled the truck out of the garage. It's a little dusty as you can see. Um, it is running right now. Not the prettiest, but everyone keeps asking for a four wheel burnout. Tonight's probably not the night we're gonna do a four wheel burnout. I might give you a little bit of, a little bit of diesel love here. We'll see. Gotta roll with that right there. So this is for all the doubters out there that the caddy could do a four wheel burnout. I mean, it wasn't the craziest burnout, but you can see there's tracks and tracks, tracks and tracks, all wheels all the time, baby. And uh, I did blow a hose, so we're gonna go back and fix that. So it's not a, you know, it's not too bad. You can see the hose down there separated so we're not getting any boost into the uh, intake manifold now so we're gonna have to go back and um, reassess our clamp situation because the uh, clamp code just ain't cutting it maybe we're gonna have to i don't know weld that up I don't, we'll see 